Hello and welcome to week 22 of the Frank and Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making two pieces, the wedge stitch and the Suzette stitch. So we're going to start with the wedge stitch. And this is a lace-like stitch that just creates these wedges um, of stitches as you go up the rows. So to start this piece, you need to make a foundation chain of 47. Okay, so to start your wedge stitch, you're going to make a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Now for this one, your turning chain does not count as a stitch, so this first single crochet is the first stitch of our row. And now we're going to chain three. We're going to skip the next three stitches. Oops. And then in the next stitch, make a single crochet. Chain three, skip three stitches, make a single crochet. And that's the repeat across this row. After your single crochet, chain three, skip the next three stitches and make a single crochet. And then in your final stitch of the row, make a single crochet again. And that's row one. For row two, we're going to turn and chain one. And we're going to make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. Just mark that. So now we're going to skip to the chain space. And in that chain space, we're going to make two double crochet. A half double crochet. And a single crochet, all in that same chain space. And that creates our wedge. So we start with the high stitches and we go down to the low stitches. And then we skip to the next chain space. This is where the, our repeat for the row starts. So in the next chain space, we're going to make a single crochet. Chain three. And then still working in that same chain space, make two double crochet. Two, make a half double crochet and a single crochet. Okay, so we single crochet, chain three, and then our wedge, two double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. And you repeat that all the way across the row. So into the next chain space, make a single crochet. Chain three. And still working in that chain, same chain space, make two double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. Okay. And after your last chain space, you're going to make a single crochet in the last stitch. And that's row two. So onto row three. Oops. There we go. You're going to turn and chain one. Make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. Just mark that stitch. So after your double crochet turning chain, you're going to chain three. And then skip to the next chain space, which is over here. So you're going to skip all of these stitches here in your wedge, go straight to the chain space and make a single crochet. Then chain three. Skip to the next chain space. So skip all the stitches in your wedge, go to the chain space and make a single crochet. Okay, so we're just leveling off that top. 
and that's the repeat across the row. After your single crochet, chain three. So when you get to the last wedge, you skip the wedge and make a single crochet in that turning chain. And that is row three. So to complete your wedge stitch, you're going to be repeating rows two and three. To complete your wedge piece, you're going to be repeating rows two and three until you have nine rows in total. Once you finish row nine, you can weave in your ends and that's your wedge piece done. So then it's time to move on to our Suzette stitch piece. The Suzette stitch makes these little wedges um, of stitches and they all just interlock together. So to make this piece, you need to start with a foundation chain of 47. So to start the Suzette stitch, we're going to be starting in the second chain from our hook. So in the second chain, make a single crochet. And this is our first stitch. I'm going to pop a stitch marker in there. Into the same chain that we just made our single crochet, make a double crochet. Skip the next stitch. In the next chain across, make a single crochet and a double crochet into that same chain. And this is your repeat across the row. Skip the next chain and in the next one make a single crochet and a double crochet both into that same chain. Okay. Skip the next stitch, make a single crochet and a double crochet in the same chain. Repeat this pattern across your row, skip a stitch, single and double crochet both in the same stitch Oops. and then your final chain make a single crochet so there is no skip stitch between the last repeats of single and double and the chain one single crochet there's row one and now we turn so row two, we're going to chain one and you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet in the first stitch of the row. So that first single crochet counts as the first stitch of the row, I'll just mark that. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and this is your double crochet in the row below. So we skip the double and we're only going to be working into the single crochets. So into that single crochet, make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, which is the double, and working into the single, make a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, make a single crochet and a double crochet both into that single crochet in the row below. Skip the next stitch, single and double crochet. And you repeat this pattern across the row. Then when you have two stitches left, you skip the next one, which is the double, and work a single crochet only into that last stitch. For the rest of the, of the Suzette stitch, you repeat row two. To complete your Suzette piece, you're going to be repeating row 2 until you have 22 rows in total. Once you finish row 22, you can cut off and weave in your ends, and then it's time to join this piece and your wedge piece to the rest of your blanket. So to see where this, these pieces fit, you can go click on the link beneath this video and it will take you to the blog post where the instructions and layout for these pieces are all there waiting for you. And don't forget the Facebook group is there, Frogty Frogs Ribbit and Stitch, for any questions you have or if you just want to join in and chat to your fellow Franken Scrappers. So once you've joined your pieces, that's this week complete and I shall see you next time for the next piece. Bye for now.